Hi, my name's Neil, and in this video, we're going to talk about a simple project you can make at home. Stay tuned. A few years ago, I had the good fortune to spend some time with Moors Kahansky, a true gentleman and a master of boreal forest. And he told me about this item of, of clothing, equipment, um, that he had developed. And that was one of these, the Kahansky Survival Scarf. It came from an idea given to him by Tom Roycraft. And essentially, all it is, is a large square of fabric, a little bit like a duvet cover. It's made from parachute nylon, and it's very, very lightweight, um, and it's a multi-purpose piece of equipment. You can use it as a massive browse bag, which you can then pull over yourself inside a, a shelter um, to give you a duvet, or you can pack it full of vegetation and lay on it use it like a mattress to protect you from the cold, damp ground. Because it's fabric, you can also use it as a water filter. We can use it as a headdress, as a scarf. It's all sorts of different things we can use this one simple item for. It can even form part of your super shelter. I took the idea away and I had a little bit of a play with the design uh, and I came up with a, a, a few other uses uh, of things that we can do with this scarf if we just tweak the design slightly. And here are a few of those. So what we're going to do today is go through how you can make one of these at home. It's quite simple. Materials, all you need is five metres of ripstop parachute nylon. You'll also need a reel of polyester thread and for my particular design um, a 50 centimetre square of very fine midge netting. Equipment wise, that's fairly simple. You need a pair of scissors, some pins, and a domestic sewing machine, and that's it. The first thing that we do with our sheet of material is we lay out the whole five meters. We then mark up in the top left hand corner from that corner 50 centimetres and then again from that corner 50 centimetres down. You then draw a diagonal line between those two points and then just very simply with some scissors cut it so you actually take one corner off your five metre length. The next step is that you take your 50 centimetres square of midge netting and cut it diagonally, corner to corner. Then all you do is sew the midge netting across the area that you just cut from the parachute nylon. Once you midge netting, 
is sewn into position in that top left corner, then all you do then is fold the fabric in two. With your pins, pin all the way around the edge, leaving about a one centimetre gap around that edge. On the opposite side to where your midge netting is, so on the right hand edge, have a 75 centimetre gap that isn't pinned. Once this is done, you can then take the sewing machine and sew all the way around the edge, leaving a 75 centimetre gap in position. Now with any fabric at all, if you don't sew the edges down, uh, it frays and with parachute nylon you get very very fine threads which, which hitch on everything. So what we need to do is enclose um, that edge so that it's fully sewn in so that any bits that do fray off are enclosed. So what you then do is take your pair of scissors and trim to about 5mm the seam that you've just sewn all the way around the edge. With that done, turn the whole project inside out <clears throat> and then pin around the edge to again one centimetre and then stitch all the way around. What you've now done is enclose that raw edge. This will just make it a little more practical. You won't get the threads hitching on your clothing, um, etc. as you are using the scarf. With that done, turn the whole project inside out again. And what you've got is your survival scarf. It's a really, really simple project to make. Essentially, all you're making is a big duvet cover. One little thing I've done with mine is I made a little drawstring bag which I've sewn into my survival scarf so that I've got something that I can pack it all the way in when I'm not using it as a scarf or for whatever else. Do have a go at making it. It's a really simple project and once you've done it, it goes away in your, in your kit and it's something that you'll go back to again and again and you will have had the pleasure of making something yourself and using it. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed our video, then remember, subscribe to our channel. Till next time, stay safe.